Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people, the truth about what happened in Okwama community is beginning to unfold as the residents of Okwama's community are being vindicated from the killings of 17 soldiers in the community. According to an interview on Shannon's television, Abraham Ogbodo, an Urubo leader, said the Okwama community people was not responsible for the killings of 17 soldiers in the community. What we do not know, the fact that I not heard is that it is not true that those gallant officers would have been taken out by just community boys. There's so much to it. And the, the story is that they were not just only killed, their bodies were mutilated. So yesterday, the Nigerian military decided to release a list comprises of eight people that they believe is connected to the killings of 17 soldiers in Okwama community. So the question now is that are these people really connected to the killings of 17 soldiers in Okwama community or they are in the list because they spoke against the military? All right, I'll be giving you guys the full details of this news, but please help us like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend us to more people. Thank you. All right, among the suspects mentioned in the list is a young man identified as Ruben Baru, who went viral a week ago over a video he posted on social media in which he made some allegations against the military regarding the incident in Okwama community. The young man, who is said to be a resident of Okwama community, pointed accusing figures on Topolo by claiming that the soldiers lost their lives while fighting for the Niger Delta warlord. When they make comments, say, na peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They, they fight in favor of Topolo, because Topolo have ordered them to do so. If you like, me federal government declare me wanted. So the question now is, is it declared wanted because he is involved in the killings of 17 soldiers in Okwama community or because he spoke against the military? All right, my viewers, I would like you guys to answer that in the comment section. All right, the king of Ewo Kingdom, Clement Ikolo, who is among those declared wanted by the army following the killing of 17 soldiers in Okwama community, Delta State, has reacted to the inclusion of his name on the list. King Ikolo expressed surprise that his name was included in such a list. He denied having a hand in the death of the soldiers and added that as a Catholic, it is against his faith. He also urged the authorities to ensure that they apprehend the real proprietors of the crime and make them face the wrath of the law. I am really, really very surprised and taken aback that my name as a monarch of the kingdom will appear in a list of wanted persons. I have no hands in killings. I have no hands in encouraging anybody to kill anybody. It is against my philosophy as a human being and my faith as a Catholic. It is against it. it is a, this is a, a serious crime against humanity. And I think it, it, they need to look at the appropriate places. They need to do a, 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 a thorough investigation to know all those who have committed this and bring them to book. And bring them, let, let justice prevail. I am, not, I am not a party to this. I am not a party to this. Like I said earlier, the state government is aware. They know the turbulence I've, I've been going through, and even up to now, as we speak, an arrangement was made by the government to invite the opponents recently, just before this happenings, recently, to invite all the, um, those who are fighting me in the kingdom to a meeting to reconcile whatever differences so that they can allow me to go into the kingdom and start to rule as the monarch of the place. I have not been able to set up anything. I haven't been able to set up my traditional, uh, uh, my traditional uh, council. I haven't been able to do that. I have done nothing in the kingdom. So I barely know anything right now. I have no information. I know nothing. I'm only just in the process of trying to... All right. So the report reaching us today is that the monarch have presented himself to the Nigerian police as at yesterday, 9 p.m. in the evening. Meanwhile... 
Human rights lawyer Femi Falana has criticized the decision of the defense headquarters to declare murder suspects wanted in connection with the killing of 17 soldiers in Okwama community in Delta State. Femi Falana, who termed the move completely illegal and called on the federal government to intervene and redirect the investigation to the appropriate authorities. According to Falana, he said, Murder is not a military offense and therefore, the investigation of murder suspects should not fall under the purview of the defense headquarters. He emphasized that the federal government must step in and instruct the defense headquarters to transfer the investigation to the appropriate civilian law enforcement agency. So my people, that is it. A lot of Nigerians as reacted to this news, we shall be taking some comments for you guys. And the first person here said, The army should have investigation with tentacles spread near and beyond to apprehend the suspected killers before going to burn down innocent people's houses. We must adopt the rules of engagement based on the best international practice. And so, another person also commented saying, Confused and unintelligent military has now declared some people wanted. Now tell me why you burned down the village before declaring them wanted. I thought you must have killed them by now. This is crazy. Nigerian military is not intelligent at all. And the last comment I'll be taking here says, How many emirs have the army declared wanted for the activities of bandits and Boko Haram in the north? So my people, that is it. Right about now, I will let you guys watch the full interview of Ibrahim Igbodo with Shannes Television. Um, his mission, there was a kind of misunderstanding between two communities, Okoloba and Okwama. Okoloba being an Ijo community, and then Okwama being an Orobo community. But it is not so much about the ethnic division. These communities are intertwined. They are so integrated in so many ways. In, in, in tradition, in marriages, in so many ways, they are um, integrated. And if there is any kind of dispute, it's something that can be handled. But this time, maybe the level was a bit uh, above the ordinary. And the, uh, the, 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 the story is that the Delta State government actually went into it. it, was, it was, uh, the Delta State government was on top of it. Meetings were called. Uh, a call were signed. And everything was okay. The, the next we had was that um, military officers and men went to the place on a peace mission. Who invited them for that peace mission has not been clearly stated. Was it the leadership of the community? Was it the, le the political leadership? That is the leadership of the local government. The two communities spread between two local governments, Bumadi local government and Ugeli South local government. Are we talking of the leadership of the local government that invited them for that peace mission? Are we talking of the community leaders that invited them for that peace mission? All of that has not been established. But, but uh, what, what can we establish? Uh, that those who say this was not about land dispute. No. Uh, that this was maybe about oil, illegal oil bunkering. And some of the tussle between these communities about a whole lot of talk relating to oil. Is that true? It's very true. It's very true. Nothing, nothing so grave happens in the Niger Delta without oil underlining it. That has been said before. And that has also been confirmed by the chief of army staff. While we are looking, fishing for other facts is what I don't understand. Let's keep that narrative. What will happen is that whoever is accessory in any way to the killing, if investigation brings that person out, Fine. Nobody is going to query that. Nobody is going to raise issues. Mm. But regarding Mr. Obodo, that. what are the facts on the ground as the community knows it now? What are the facts? Because the community seems to have their own facts. And what they do know uh, is against the fact that those who believe that uh, if there are conflict between two communities, Okoloba on one hand, Okoma on one hand, there are those who think in that community that why is the pressure on Okoma community? What exactly was the reason why the Okoma people believe that there was too much of pressure and there was a side taking against them? Yes, because uh, what we hear and what everybody says is that Use of a Okoma community killed the soldiers. 
And the Okoma community, they are not even in the stead. As we talk today, the community does not exist. What do you mean? In it time exist. and space. Well, of course, you, the military has taken over the community. We don't even know where the people are. Nobody reaches the leaders. They have all gone underground. And so they are not even able to present their own story. They have not said anything. What we are running with is a single narrative as told by the army, the military authority. Is it true that the youths, uh, rampaging youths of the community killed the soldiers? That is the issue for determination. And that is why the president set up an investigation team. And no investigation has been done. That has not been established. And so to come to that conclusion... It's just judicial. Mm, but th there, are, there are some key elements, uh, some key personalities yes. who are so-called the big boys, which you know some of the facts that have been thrown around the, co the conversation and narrative within the Yoruba community and the Ijo community about these personalities, some of them who have been in government before and some of them who are deeply involved in oil refining and uh, illegal bunkering and all what have you. And these are some of the facts that could help the nation to be able to know where exactly we are headed. What can you tell us? What exactly are the grievances or the conflict? What was the bottom line of the conflict? So if all of this is known to the authorities, why are they not just doing that? Can you tell us? That's why you are here. Yes. So let us know what the facts that are not out there, the, what we do not know. That's why you are here. What we do not know, the facts that are not out is that it is not true that those gallant officers would have been taken out by just community boys. There's so much to it. And the, the story is that they were not just only killed, their bodies were mutilated. And so there was some kind of anger. What kind of a, 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 an attempt to just pull out something, to get even with some grievance. And so it's deeper than community. I said in one forum that that community, as we know it, is just a rural community, does not have the capacity to deliver that level of tragedy. And when the, when the, when the president said this thing was going to be investigated, we were all happy. But the military is pushing against every other view and maintaining that persons from so my people that is it for you all please let me know your opinion in the comment section and please help us to like share and subscribe to this channel so that youtube and facebook can recommend us to more people thank you so much for your time and god bless you amen